Tonight, a Parkland mass shooting survivor is coming to the Commonwealth. CBS 21's Hallie Jacobs will be at the event in Elizabethtown College. You'll hear more from her tonight at 11. So who wants to be a senator? That is the program at the state capitol today. Local high school students seeing just how our state government really works up close and personal. You remember they've had some struggles there in Harrisburg this year, getting the items like a budget fully across the finish line. So do these kids think they can do a little bit better? I don't know. CBS 21's Maxine Rose joins us now with what they've learned so far. Maxine. Joel D, this was part of the second annual Senators for a Day program, and I spoke to some students who say this was an eye-opening experience. Being a high schooler, we're not very, we're still kids. It's not every day that you get to be in the room where it happens. Being a part of working for your country is like, it's inspirational, it's fun. These 115 student senators taking a seat at the table, debating mock legislation in a committee, then voting on those bills on the floor of the Senate, debating real issues like voter ID or gun laws and working toward a real solution. I feel like we should um, figure out how, work, how to work together before um, talking about other stuff. It's really a, a very personal game. I've never really been big into that, and I think there's a lot more nuance into that uh, the political calculus that goes into that than, than some people might think. The experience giving the students a look into the everyday struggles of government bodies, realizing why it can be so hard to come to a consensus. It's really hard to come to conclusions with these, especially with people from different backgrounds, with different beliefs. I've never really thought about being a politician, but you know, maybe if I, if I got out more, did a little bit more of this type of interning work, because really, it's a lot about communication. I'll be a little less quick to judge and I'll maybe think more about everything that they have to consider. This new generation taking the steps to make a change. I was open to it coming in, but I think after doing this entire process, I think it's something I would consider pursuing in the future. Now, Senator Phillips Hill's team says that last year it was such a big hit that they had to actually reduce the number of students allowed to come into this program this year to allow some space and some room for others to speak. Now, this year, nearly everyone finding their voice. For CBS 21 News, I'm Maxine Rose.